Welcome back, trainers. So Mega Pidgeot is here, and we're going to be going over a few things regarding Pidgeot, as well as its new move and the Flying Cup. We're going to be doing some practice. So taking a look at the counters here. Throw rocks at it. All right, it's going to have a max CP 1216. Weather boosted under windy or partly cloudy. It's going to be 1521. All right, and also Articuno is here, and it can be shiny, as well as Pidgeotto can be shiny in that cat screen. And Articuno will have an exclusive move, Hurricane, which is actually going to be pretty good. So take note of that and get out there and get one. I still need my shiny. Taking a look at the current raids that we do have, you have some shiny variants that you can go out there and hunt, I suppose, if you're looking for them, as well as Aerodactyl. Uh, but its CP is going to be higher than the Great League, so <laughs> you're going to have to trade it. But you should have some Aerodactyls. Now, taking a look at Porygon really quick, not really relevant, but the tri attack did go from the buff on the opponent from 20% to 50%. No attack change, so it's not looking too great still. Now, taking a look at Pidgeotto's new move, Gust, guys. This is awesome because it is going to be pretty much a Confusion clone. As you can see, it's going to be doing a lot of damage. So, pretty amazing stuff here. Very exciting to see where they do go with this and what Pokemon are also going to be able to learn this in the future. Now, PV Poke did uh, put out a note here that uh, the value for the... Gust is actually going to be one more because that is, that's just what it is going to be like in the game files there. Taking a look at PV Poke, how good is Pidgeot going to be with Gust? Well, it's not really improving it too much. It's also going to have a legacy move, which I personally do have as well. Wing Attack, uh, which is, I wouldn't say going to be better, but it's going to be generating energy pretty fast. Gust is going to be doing a lot of damage. Think of a Confusion. You have a Flying Confusion move now. That's pretty awesome to think about, right? Mega Pidgeot with Gust is going to be pretty good. So, yeah, just think about that. And also, I am going to recommend this because we're going to be going over the Battle Night in which we're going to be able to do 100 battles and the Flying Cup is going to be starting to take place. And what you're going to probably want to do is make a Pidgeotto, or should I say Pidgeot, uh, that can Mega Evolve for each league. So, a uh, Pidgeotto that uh, can evolve into Pidgeot, that will be able to learn Gust. You're going to be able to evolve it into Pidgeot under 1500. So make sure you just have the correct CP for that. So this is going to be going down September 24th at 6 p.m. until 11.59 local time in which you're going to be able to participate in the Flying Cup in the Great League. So this is going to be some pretty fun stuff. And like I said, we're going to be taking a look at some battles so you can have a good understanding as to what is going to be going on here. And I'm going to tell you, man, these battles just go quick. This isn't the first time we tested those out. So if you do evolve... Pidgeotto into Pidgeot during this time frame you will be able to get Gust so make sure you do that guys because this is going to be an exclusive move you can elite TM your good ones taking a look at some of my Pidgeots that I do have I have that very nice shiny as well as this good IV one here and then I have this maxed out 15 14 15 and this is going to be a legacy wing attack double moved let's get it I've had this one for quite some time since 2016 glad I never transferred it now let's hop into some of these flying cup battles up against my friend here I do watch him quite a bit on Twitter or <laughs> on Twitch uh, he does do battles uh, for my time it is going to be pretty late so it's always nice when I'm kind of calmed down and I just uh, wind down to do some battles anyways he's starting it off with maintain I'm going there with the Amolga and this is a good matchup for me. So he's going to be lowering my attack and then swapping into Aerodactyl. I kind of got I, 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 a little stunt there. I could have swapped into Aerodactyl. I thought I might be able to get off Discharge, but unfortunately that Smackdown is just does so much damn damage. <laughs> Golly. Okay, so it comes is Mantate again, doing super effective with the quick moves here. So if you're thinking, well, what, what are we going to... What are we going to do? Everything's flying. Everything's weak, you know, to each other here, pretty much. Well, I mean, not necessarily. You have Altaria, you have Gligor, you have Gliscor. Both of those, three of those Pokemon can resist electric type moves. I wouldn't, well, not, they're, they're not taking super effective damage, right? You have to look out for ice when you use them, for sure. But there are going to be Pokemon that can withstand electric type moves. Uh, as far as Articuno, Shadow. Man, this thing is just going to be putting in work. As you can see here, it's doing a great you're able to debuff your opponent, but also taking a lot of damage from Aerodactyl. So you may want to look out for that. And if you do pair up uh, an Aerodactyl with something, make sure it's a Pokemon that can resist potential rocks or at least take neutral like Skarmory. Um, all right. So into the next battle, we're met with a Mantane again. So we have to look out for Ice Beam, right? Well, we're not taking very effective damage from the water. Uh, those Bubble Beams are going to lower our attack. 
but uh, we're not going to take any chances here. This could be an ice beam. It's just a bubble beam getting ready for a swap. It looks like he wants to continue on here. I do believe I just... Do I shield? I double shield this. Yeah. So that's an ice beam. Absolutely would have taken us out here. So let's see if we can get his last shield or if he wants to commit to this Mantane here. He's letting it go down. Well, it's going to be one more Dragon Breath, then going down. In comes his Aerodactyl, and here we go. So our attack has been debuffed at this point, so that's why we're not doing that much damage. This is not going to be very effective because it is going to be Rock-type, and that is what Aerodactyl has going for it. Bringing in our Skarmory, which can combat the Aerodactyl, but unfortunately we do not have Steel Wing. At this time, we did not change it, which is going to be a, a little bit better for you. Uh, so he has the Amolga out there and doing super effective and everything we're doing is not very effective. So we're going straight for the Brave Bird, doing quite a bit of damage even though it is resisted here. Lowering our defense, allowing us to drop a little bit faster. Bringing in our Altaria to have them use up their energy. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and bring in our own here and what we're going to do is just farm it down. Well... <laughs> Yeah, I th could we have gotten off a charge? Yeah, we couldn't have. We could have. We just want to save that energy for this Aerodactyl. And we're going to be able to take the win. Was talking to him and he said he had uh, his energy ready to go. So good games. On to our next opponent. Thank you for the battles. This is the first time battling her. So let's see what she has to bring to the table. Starting it off with the Shadow Articuno up against our Altaria. Absolutely a horrible matchup. So we're going to be swapping into our Skarmory. And here is the team comp I'm kind of like describing to you. Something that can protect you from other things. So we have the... Uh, Skarmory to protect us from the rock as well as the ice and here comes the Aerodactyl Not very effective on our end, but still chipping away onto the uh, Aerodactyl here bringing in our Altaria knowing that uh, We're gonna be able to, to at least take those smackdowns to some degree because Altaria, you know has a bit of bulk to it We're gonna go straight for our sky attack here on our Altaria. Let's see what they're uh, It's their Articuno. Okay, we're gonna be swapping into our uh, flying squirrel <laughs> right and we're going to shield this up it's going to lower our attack and that would have hurt quite a bit here so going for our discharge let's see what's going to happen uh he swapped okay into gliscor so we're in a horrible position here i don't know what i'm going to do except go for aerial ace because it is going to be at least neutral damage here because gliscor is going to be part ground like we were describing there are going to be pokemon to help you protect your other flying type Pokemon, for instance, this one, which is going to be ground, not taking very effective from the electric type moves. But on the other hand, ice moves are going to absolutely devastate it. So think about it. 100 battles is quite a bit. So yeah, should prepare now. So in comes the, Ar or the Articuno and it's taken us out. Good games. Okay, it's not over yet, folks. We have some very fun battles here. So we're going to start it off with the Mantane. And we're met with the Altaria. This is pretty good for us because... Uh, we're going to be able to go for the Bubble Beam, lower the attack. Hopefully, we get a shield here. Perfect. So now we're going to be able to take those Sky Attacks and Dragon Breaths that much better. And we can go for the Ice Beam. If we get two shields, that's great. We're not going to have to shield up once here if we do not want to. And we can just go in with another Pokemon and potentially farm. We get the Ice Beam through, doing a big damage, able to farm down with our quick move gaining plenty of energy so we're going to be able to lower the attack we could have went for ice beam here folks we could have totally went for ice beam and that would have i would think just about ko'd that thing um but they're going to be swapping and again we could have went for ice beam but we went for bubble beam onto that gyarados that's fine so we're taking super effective damage from that waterfall with our aerodactyl because we're a rock type but uh, good thing we did lower the attack so we we're going to be able to survive these a little bit better Going to go ahead and shield up that Aqua Tail, which would have just easily KO'd. We're going to go right for that Rock Slide here. Not even fetching for the boost, just trying to get that last shield. Fantastic. And they're going to be expending their energy here because they cannot farm us down with Fury Cutter. And we're going to be bringing in our Altaria, and we're looking fantastic at this point. I'm assuming they have... I don't know if you would really want to run Earthquake, to be honest with you. So, uh, because everything's flying, right? I don't know if they have Earthquake, though. So, good games. We're winning that one. Let's see what we have for the next battle, starting it off with Herodactyl, and they are two. Check out this battle, guys. This battle is awesome. So, the mirror match, okay. Nobody's able to get off any moves. That's just what it is, so remember that. What are we going to go in here with the Articuno? Well, we just cleared out the Rock user, so we're good to go. And they bring in their own Shadow Articuno, swapping right as we get off our Icy Wind into Gyarados. So we're going to go ahead and go right into our Altaria here taking not very effective damage from the water moves. And since we did debuff the attack, we're looking fantastic. So at this point, I don't think we really need to even shield up anything. So just going to go for the sky. Wait a minute. 
Mm, do we want to... No, we're going to let this go because we don't want him to farm it. Check this out. So we go in with our Articuno. This is neck to neck. All right. So basically, I'm going to lower their attack here. And I have a feeling we're going to have a, a double KO. Let's see. So we're going to shield this up, obviously. Lowering our attack. We're neck to neck. Both going into the red. I do believe that's what's going to happen here, folks. Double KO. Pretty amazing. <laughs> let's go. This is overtime. All right. So let's see what we have here. Who is going to take the victory? So we're starting it off with Mantane. They're going in there with Aerodactyl. This is good for us. They're doing super effective, but so are we. And what we're going to be able to do here is lower the attack. So now we have the advantage here. We got a shield as well. Fantastic. We're also going to be shielding this up because this will probably KO or come very close. Just one, one more rock slide. Swapping into Altaria, we go for Bubble Beam. Could have went for Ice Beam, but that's fine. We lowered the attack, and we can go into this mirror match with our own Altaria, feeling comfortable because, well, they're not going to be doing that much damage compared to ours, to theirs. So going for that Sky Attack, bringing them down into the red, and we're not shielding anything up. We're going to let this just uh, absorb this damage here. They're going for the Dragon Pulse. Smart move. The harder hitting move because their attack was lowered. Well played there. Going in with Aerodactyl, doing one Smackdown and taking us out. We're going to go ahead and go back in here with their Mantane. And this is going to be a very close battle, folks. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll be keeping you up to date on everything Pokemon Go. And bringing you some more Go Battle League battles. Thanks for watching and take care. I have secrets that